we're here in Carteret Mobile Park and we're taking a look at this new house that arrived on the location at lot 09. And next it will be 010, 011, and 012. Let's go inside and check it out. So the concrete pad is done. The piers are supporting the bottom of the house. The patio, concrete patio has been put in. The shed will be arriving shortly. And we'll still have to work on the landscaping here. Usually it's stone or a little sod. The guys updated the water and sewer service. And um, this house has gorgeous, like a light yellow, which the manufacturer calls pearl. And this is the pearl vinyl siding and the vinyl blue shutters. It's got outside water, outside electric, this is your vent for your dryer. This is the nine light cottage door for the back for the laundry room. You've got two windows in the living room. Now let's go in. I've got a little bit of steps here to get us in here because um, the house hasn't been prepared yet for visitors. But I wanted to give um, all the applicants who have already been approved as residents in Carteret a chance to see this inside through a video. I'm looking into getting temporary steps put in and that way I can have them, the eager buyers, take a look. In the meantime, anyone else who wants to um, take a look, just fill out the 15 pre-qualifying questions on our website, myhomeincarteret.com and then we'll give um, tour appointments. So the house still has a lot of work to still be done. The ceiling fan has to be put up, those light fixtures for outside, the furnace cover. So here's the light fixture. I took a moment this morning, about an hour, to prep the house. When the house arrives, there's like a lot of rubber bands that are holding different things, like doors and cabinets shut, and they're rubber so that they'll bounce a little bit as the house goes down the highway. Um, so this is the living room area. And again, um, this is where all the other houses will be going. So we're working on those and they've been ordered and they'll be coming in the spring. So there is a little bit of a delay. It used to be five weeks to order a house and get it, but now it's um, two and a half weeks. And these are thermal pane windows. There's one window on that side and the manufacturer provides shades and valances. It's really lovely. So let's go take a look at the living room. Uh, what we did first was vinyl flooring throughout, so we'll be looking at that throughout the whole house. I have these little carpets here to um, keep down the mud from the melting snow. We're here December 22nd, and um, we'll keep working as long as we can. When the ground freezes, we can't, so we do what we can. Here's a 100 amp service electric service. This is another view of the kitchen. You've got four Whirlpool appliances and one thing during COVID is we've had to um, accept whatever the manufacturer was able to get and appliances interestingly enough was very difficult to get so we had to um, take these upgraded stainless steel appliances. Not a bad thing right? So that kind of worked out. We've got the side-by-side -side refrigerator, the dishwasher, the stove, and the microwave. And we've been um, adding these beautiful farm sinks. So now the farm sink really looks great with all the other matching appliances. We're really thrilled that this kind of worked out. Um, this is a little window for the kitchen. You've got this, all the pieces that go with this farm sink, the wooden cutting board, the colander, the protection for the bottom, the little grated area. Um, let's put that all back, make it all pretty. This little gooseneck faucet's on a little bit of a rubbery um, tension so that you can use it in your big basin. I mean, really, that's such a big farm sink, you could probably bathe the baby in there. Uh, anyway, the electricity and the water are not on, so this is me eagerly trying to get our uh, interested home buyers more information. 
This is the bronzite countertop. It's um, for mica countertop. And then the glass backsplash, which has a little hint of blue in it. It's like a little robin's egg color almost. And it really brings out a lot of the um, variety and texture in a lot of the movement inside the countertop. And it just matches so lovely with the stainless steel. So um, some of the Dolan home standards, we add this little trim to like really make the house uh, look good. We like it to match the top trim. Uh, what you've got above is LED lights. So that's beautiful. And when they go on, it just is a warm look. I love that they switch to warm um, color LED instead of the harsh blue light. It's just more soothing inside the house. Uh, although I've seen other people who like it. So then going down to the uh, hallway, you've got um, the closet, er I mean the laundry room area. So this is two cabinets and this is full size washer and dryer. And this homeowner has a surprise in store. Um, and then the bar above for hanging uh, anything you need to when you're working on your clothes. We'll have the painter in and the cleaning lady before this is all out. So there's a lot of things that people point out to me in our videos, but um, suffice to say, we always present a really nice uh, finished product. So here you have um, the commode and the sink, and you've got a framed mirror. We still haven't put the light globes on there, the globes on the light fixture and above for the fan either. So I have a box of light bulbs and I'll be doing that once the electricity's on. So um, this house has a one piece fiberglass tub. Um, we cannot get the shower stalls in when the house is um, not as wide. So this is a 14 wide house, but it's lovely. And a lot of people can add grab bars if they need to on the sides of the house. So this is a regular wall studs and you can um, apply anything you want as a homeowner once you own it. We um, added the transom windows. That's also an upgrade. And this is um, moisture proof uh, wallpaper, wallpapered board. Uh, here's another view of the countertop, the vanity and the mirror. And again, I'll get the light fixtures up in a little bit. Here's another look at the laundry room from this angle. It's the same um, all wood cabinetry that's in the kitchen. And um, in here, it's the same pools and a lot of storage space for you. In the kitchen, it's adjustable shelves. So this is your hookup for your water, for your washer and dryer. And then down there is the electric. And then um, all the windows are thermal pane. <clears throat> Again, there's smoke detectors up above and LED lights up above. You've got your hot water heater in the back corner. Uh, this is an upgrade. Usually the manufacturer puts the access panel through the closet. So we try to make it easy for people when they need to see their hot water heater. So here's two bypass doors for the closet. And this is a wire rack all the way down. So over here we have the information about the house. They do not put this in the electric panel because people used to take the doors off. And this has to stay with the house for the next uh, owner. This is the what we call the data plate. And this shows that it's an Energy Star certified house. So that means it's got uh, a lot of upgrades, both the furnace and the insulation to make it able to um, withstand New Jersey winter. So this shows you the winter, the region that we're in and that this house was made specifically following the federal guidelines for uh, what type of housing has to be here for wind, for snow. Over here we have the full um, turning off the water of the house. This is the full shut off. So this is another upgrade. We pay extra to have the shut off in your house so you don't have to crawl under your house and do it. Just some things Mr. Dolan has done through the years that um, he thinks is worth doing. Each, um, the living room and the bedrooms both have cable ready jacks, so there you see it in the floor. And um, 
There's the living room view again. This is such a sunny house, really, really lovely. We're having a lot of people who've been living in apartments coming over and joining us because they really like that they get their own place. So this is a land lease community. You are the owner of your house and anything you do on the outside, you have to ask uh, in writing per the lease um, for uh, permission. So that's to protect all the underground utilities. I'm going around and fixing the little valances. So let's take a look at um, the back bedroom. So here's your furnace and this is a hot air furnace and your central air conditioning runs through there also. That's also something we install later on. So this is your um, back bedroom. It's a little bit smaller than the one in the front or the other side that I just showed you. So I'll give you a view from this angle. This is great for a twin size bed or a futon or a desk. Very simple. I think um, a lot of people like a two bedroom so it's um, got a little designated area for them to have their computer. It's also got a closet so that's what makes it an actual bedroom. We've actually seen houses that have a little study and um, it didn't have a door and it didn't have a closet. It was like a little nook. So here's the other closet. Lots of room to store things. Let's close this back up. So I'm gonna be sending this email to all the people who have applied. Here's the rest of the town and here's some, um, or the neighborhood I should say, here's some homes right across the street. It's a great safe little community right in the heart of Middlesex County. We're a hop, skip and a jump away from New York City so we're getting a lot of people from New York moving in and joining us here in Carteret Mobile Park in Carteret, New Jersey. We only build in New Jersey. We're only certified to build in New Jersey and uh, Mr. Dolan's been doing this for over 35 years and he has all the licenses and certifications to um, build this kind of housing. So this is manufactured housing. It's different than trailers and mobile homes. Trailers and mobile homes do not have the insulation of a manufactured home. We're actually more like a modular but we don't, um, It's they're actually built in the same facility also but there are some technical differences, mainly that our houses come on the steel chassis and stay on them, and a modular home gets lifted up off the chassis it arrives on and gets put on a crawl space or basement. So there you have it. Start at the website, myhomeincarteret.com, and we look forward to having you join us here and looking forward to seeing who else is going to purchase the rest of the houses that are planned and coming for the spring of 2021.